Hi guys, welcome. This is a tutorial based on exploiting a vulnerable web server in order to gain root access via remote file inclusion. Let's navigate to the URL of the web server. This is using a PHP include function paired with the get parameter. It's an unsanitary way of passing information as we, the attacker, can execute our own PHP script through the remote file inclusion vulnerability. Let's select a vehicle type here. Let's choose Moped, for example. And we'll submit it. Right over here is where the remote file inclusion vulnerability resides. This is where we can uh, include the path of our remote PHP script. So let's navigate uh, to the attacker's PC. Right over here. Now, we're going to be using a C99 shell. This was developed by Captain Crunch security team. Let's execute this. As you can see, using the C99 shell, we have uh, gained information of the, of the uh, web server's box. Uh, we can see what directory we're in. We can see the hard drive space. Uh, we can also see the permissions over here, as well as the owners. Now, um, we have a directory here called TMP, and this looks ideal to where we want to do most of our work, as it is read, write, uh, execute permissions all over the grid, uh, user, group, and world. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go inside of here, and this is where we're going to do our first step. Considering that we have the C99 shell uh, at a remote location, what we want to do is put it onto this actual server itself. So we can just uh, execute it off the server. So the first step we want to do is create a file called c99shell.php. Keep it nice and simple. So right in here is where we're going to place the code. Uh, we're just going to navigate to our tool section over here and grab that C99 code, once again developed by Captain Crunch security team. Paste it in here, save it nice and simple, and hit back. Now, inside this temp directory, we can see that we've got the c99shell.php, and it's ready to go. So let's go to the URL here of the web server. Uh, the path would be tmp slash c99shell.php. Excellent. So not much has changed, but keep in mind, we just went from a remote location to local. So uh, from here, we're going to want to create a reverse shell on a listening machine. What this is going to allow us to do is actually gain uh, a terminal access, a shell access, into the, uh, into the web server. So we're going to use a backtrack of virtual machine and just run netcat on it for now, just so it's listening for that port of which we're going to be running the reverse shell on. The command is pretty simple. It's nc netcat dash verbose dash new listening port. And for testing purposes, we're just going to say port 1234. So it's now listening on 1234 for the reverse shell. Let's jump back into our C99. What we're going to do now is we're going to create that uh, the reverse shell. Um, we have a Perl script uh, created by uh, Pentest Monkey. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that file. Uh, let's actually navigate to another directory. Another well-known directory that's uh, kept as read, write, execute is the actual temp directory. So we're going to go root here and go into TMP. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the file. Um, let's call it uh, Perl reverse shell dot PL. Create. Let's jump into our tool section here. Grab the reverse shell. Now, one thing we want to make sure of in this Perl script, which we can grab from pentestmonkey.com or .net, is uh, the IP wants to be matched to the reverse shell, so our backtrack machine, and the port is matching to the netcat port, 1234, like we said. I'm going to save that in there, and we're just going to go back. Now, we've stumbled upon one issue here, and that's the permissions. Considering that this is a Perl script, we want to execute this. So, inside of this little box over here, uh, we can execute that command. Um, however, we have to change some permissions first. So, common Linux command is chmod 777prs.pl. And this should change uh, our permissions. So, let's go back to the temp directory here. Excellent. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to execute this Perl script. And it's been executed. So let's uh, jump into backtrack and we should have a reverse shell. Great. So let's type in who am I? Apache. Now the whole purpose of this tutorial is to gain privilege escalation. So ideally we would like to be root. Um, that being said, we are in the server right now. So if we do an ls, uh, we can see all the directories. We can jump into var and look at their HTML files. But um, right now we're focused on getting root access. So uh, let's jump back into a C99 shell and we're gonna use uh, our um, root escalation, privilege escalation um, C file created by uh, Quaz. So uh, let's maybe jump back into that um, var www html var directory. So that would be up one level to root into var www html and temp. Let's make a file called uh, root.c. I'm going to jump into our tool section over here. Let's uh, grab the C file. Now this particular C file is only good uh, for Linux kernel version 2.23, uh, I believe, 2.6.23. However, that being said, there are many other releases out there. Uh, we're going to save that file. We're just going to hit back to verify that it's there, and it is. So jumping back into our reverse shell, we're going to navigate to that directory. Let's do an ls. As we can see, root.c is there. Now this is where the privilege escalation is going to happen. Um, we're just going to compile the code using GCC. Our out file is going to be, let's call it root, and we're going to use root.c, of course. So that has been compiled, and now we're just going to execute it. As you can see, we have now gained root access. Thank you very much.